गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन टूडे इज माई सेकेंड क्लास ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड आई एम टेकिंग शॉर्ट स्टोरी इन माई फर्स्ट क्लास आई स्टार्टेड द लिटिल मैच गर्ल एंड टूडे is the continuation class of that short story because that day i discussed about the introduction of the short story the background about the author and the half of the text in my last class before going to start the rest of the story i would like to discuss about what we discussed in my last class i discussed in my last class that the little match girl is a story of a little girl of about only 12 years she is selling matches on the street she is suffering from cold hunger and due to selling the matches on the street she has become tired and exhausted but she could not go back to her home because still she was unable to sell a single match and was unable to earn a single penny as a result she thought that if she would go back to her house then definitely she would be beaten by her father so she could not go back to her home she sat in a corner of the two houses and was thinking about her worries about her difficulties even she thought about her own house which was made of straws and there were so many cracks in the wall of the house through which the air passes so there was no difference whether she was inside of the house or she was outside of the house because both the place she felt cold because in her house there were so many cracks in the house and in the outside of the house where she was selling the matches she did not have protection from the cold she was without proper clothes she did not have shoes so definitely she was feeling too much cold and the time or the day was very much important because the day was the last evening of the old year that means the evening of the 31st december so people were in festive mood they were enjoying the new year save they were enjoying delicious food because it was also the last day of the christmas week but just look the fate of this little girl she did not get the smell of this occasion she was only suffering from cold hunger tiredness 
she was a representative of the orphan girl of victorian era where the orphan children were abused were tortured and the girl also was suffering from that because though she had father but she he forced her to sell matches in such a terrible cold without any protection even the girl thought that if she would go without selling a matches then definitely she would be beaten by her father so she did not have any other option so she sat over there and to think about her origins up to that i discussed in my last class so today open your book and go to page number 88 89 second para she pulled one out how it splattered and burnt that means this is the sound of the lighting of the first first match stick so she pulled one of the match stick and lit it it had a warm bright flame like a tiny candle when she held her hand over it and due to she was a child and definitely we all know that the children like to roam in their fancy land hmm or in their imagination so as she was feeling too much cold she did not have any other option so she took the fast match stick and lit it and tried and she was trying to warm herself with that hmm but what a strange light it seemed to the la- little girl as if she were sitting in front of a great iron stove which polished brass knobs and brass ornaments which so whenever she lit the first match stick she went to her fancy she went to her vision and in her vision she saw or imagined that she was sitting in front of a iron stove and she was feeling warm with that feelings the fire burned so beautifully and gave out such a lovely warm and she also imagined that the fire of the iron stove was burning brightly and she was feeling too much warm oh how wonderful that was the child had already stretched her feet to warm them to when out went the flame the stove vanished and there she sat with the burnt match in her hand which well, so definitely it was a beautiful moment for her because she was feeling cold of as the snow was falling down in a dark snow evening and whenever she lit the fast match stick she was feeling cold with her fancy in her vision she thought that she was feeling warm she thought or she imagine that she was sitting in front of a iron stove which was bright uh, which was lighting brightly or burning brightly through which she got warm and she was feeling very much nice or she was feeling a pleasant moment or she was enjoying a pleasant moment hmm but suddenly the match stick blew out and once again she f- was feeling cold then she struck second magic stick it burned clearly and where the light fell upon the wall 
the break become transparent like a gauze bolche then she lit the second majestic and whenever she lit the second majestic the wall of the building in front heart become very much transparent and she could see right into the room where a shining white cloth was spread on the table and she could she could see what was inside of the house because the wall has become transparent hmm and she could see that inside of the room there was a table and which is covered with a white cloth it was covered with a beautiful china and the center of it stood a roast goose stuffed with prunes and the apples steaming deliciously well say just in the center of the table she could also see that there was a roast goose hmm and which was decorated with apples and the palms and this is a vision of her hunger as she was feeling hungry so in the second vision she saw that there was a roast goose on a table hmm and what was even more wonderful that the goose hopped down from the dish waddled across the floor with a carving knife and fork in its back which is suddenly in her vision she also saw that suddenly the roast goose become lively and just came down or came forward towards her and at its back there was the knife and the fork hmm also were chasing the roast goose then out went the match and nothing could be seen but the thick cold wall once again the majestic blew out and her vision once again broke so in the first majestic she saw the first vision and in her first vision she saw that she was sitting in front of a iron stove in the second vision she saw that a roast goose which was coming towards her but this all or this two visions broke whenever the two matches sticks blew out hmm. then come to the second match uh, third match stick she struck another match and suddenly she was sitting under the most beautiful christmas tree as i have already mentioned to you because it was the last day of the christmas week hmm the christian people enjoy the whole week of the christmas from 24th midnight to 31st midnight and it was the 31st december evening so this was the last day of the christmas week so people were in festive mood and whenever the little girl just leave the third majestic she saw that in front of her there was a big christmas tree it was much longer much lovelier than one she had seen last year through the glass door of a rich merchant's house well say she had already seen a christmas tree last year through the window of a merchant so in her vision when she lit the third majestic she saw a big christmas tree which is bigger than the christmas tree which she had seen last year in a merchant's house hmm it was much much larger and much lovelier than one she had seen it has already discussed a thousand candles lit up the green branches and gaily colored balls like those in the shop windows looked down up on her well see even not only a christmas tree the christmas tree also was decorated with the candles with the balls hmm 
the little girl raced forward with both hands then out went the match then suddenly the little girl went towards the christmas tree with her hands but suddenly the match stick third match stick blew out hmm and the little girl raced forward with both hands then when the match the many candles of the christmas tree rose higher and higher the year and she saw that they had now turned into bright stars but so suddenly they could see that once again her vision broke and she came into the reality and whenever the match stick blew out she saw the christmas tree went up to the sky and suddenly they have become the stars of the venus one of them fell streaking the sky with light and one of the star just fell with a striking light now someone is dying said the little girl for her old grandmother the only one who had ever been good to her but who was now dead had said whenever a star falls a soul goes up to the god we'll say in our all religious book or our elders always tell us that whenever the stars fall it means this is the departing soul of our ancestors of our elders hmm so the little girl that time whenever the one of the stars just fell she remembered about the speech of her grandmother her grandmother told that whenever you see that there was a star which is falling down you can understand that one of the soul is going towards the god hmm that means she remembered about her grandmother who really loved her in her in the house she was the only lady who loved the little girl too much so whenever she thought about the speech of her grandmother she become too much emotional she become too much nostalgic she struck another match on the wall once more there was light and in the glow stood her grandmother oh so bright and shining and looking so gentle kind and loving which well, as her grandmother had already died so whenever she just lit the fourth match stick she in the vision in her vision she saw her loving grandmother and who was shining bright because she had already died hmm and she was looking too much kind she was looking too much gentle to her hmm granny cried the old lady oh take me with you i know you will disappear when the match is burnt out you will vanish like the warm stove the lovely goose roast goose and the great glorious christmas tree then the little girl started to cry and appeal her grandmother to take her with her because she did not want to be parted with her because she was the only lady in the house who loved her too much that's why she appealed her grandmother to take her with her because she could understand that that once again whenever the match stick will blow out once again her vision broke and she would miss her grandmother that's why she did not want to be parted with her she appealed her grandmother to take her with her hmm then she then what did she do just legs then she quickly stuck all the rest of the matches she had in her pocket for she did so want to keep her grandmother with her as the match stick fourth match stick was about to blow out she thought to light all the matches which she had and she burned too much matches at the same time to keep her grandmother with her because she did not want to be parted with her 
The matches flared up with such a blaze that it was brighter than the broad daylight and her grand and her old grandmother had never seemed to be beautiful or to stately before. So whenever all the matches sticks started to burn, it was looking like more bright than the daylight. Hmm. And her grandmother was looking too much beautiful, too much grand. She took the little girl in her arms and flew with her high up, so high towards the glory and joy. And in her vision, she, th she saw that her grandmother was taking her up to the sky. And she was going towards the world of glory and joy. Now they knew neither cold nor hunger nor fear for they were both with God. Because at that moment when her grandmother was taking her with her, the little girl had forgot about her hunger, about her cold. She was not feeling all this. Hmm. Because both of them were going towards God. Why she was not feeling any cold? Because the little girl is going towards death. Hmm. But in the cold dawn, dawn is the early morning before the sunset. Okay. In the corner formed by the two houses sat the little girl with rosy cheeks and smiling lips, dead frozen to death to the last evening of the old year. Which in the early morning, before the sunset, the people came out of their houses. And the little girl was found dead. But though she was died, but or she was dead, but she had a sweet smile on her face. Hmm. The dawn of the new year rose on the huddled figure of the girl. She was still holding the matches and half a packet had been burned. We'll say she held one match in her hand which was not burnt and the, in the other hand half of the packet was burnt hmm. and she died with a sweet smile, with a pleasure she had got last evening. But people did not know about that. What had happened to her? What pleasure she had got when she, in her vision, she saw her grandmother. But people thought, just listen, she was evidently trying to warm herself. People started to talk about it because people did not know what had happened to that lady or to the girl. So people started to talk about that she was evidently trying to warm herself. Hmm, people thought that as she was feeling cold, so, the little girl was trying to warm herself way by burning the matchstick. But no one knew what beautiful vision she had seen, in what a blaze of glory she had entered with her dear old grandmother into the heavenly joy and gladness of a new year. But people thought that the lady or the little girl died due to the cold and she was trying to warm herself by burning the match sticks but they were wrong here the author wants to say that the little girl when she died she got a great pleasure she got a great fun in her life because it was the last vision of her when she saw her grandmother and Whenever she saw the grandmother, she felt very much happy. She felt very much blessed. That's why whenever she died or she was found dead, she had a sweet smile in her face. Okay, that's all. I hope that whenever you will go through the online, this video of the online class, you can understand the text. Hmm.
and it will be easier for you to solve any type of the question answer so no more discussion today hope all of you are fine have a nice day stay home stay safe